Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching on Thursday the 19th of March. This is your solar eclipse forecast update. And um, of course the eclipse starting across the UK tomorrow morning and uh, reaching its maximum around about 9.30 in the morning on Friday the 20th. Um, this is how things look at the moment. This is the cloud forecast. Now bear in mind this is from a model so things can change but you see here how the best of the clear skies which is where the darkest of the colours are are stretching down from parts of northern England down through parts of the Midlands through Wales and into uh, Ireland as well. Also notice across southeastern parts of England clearer skies there. That finger of cloud that you see coming through parts of the Midlands and sort of transversing from northeast to southwest into southwestern areas, that's medium level cloud, so it's not going to be ruining the uh, site too much. And I think, really, generally across many parts of England and Wales, you should be able to see at least some of the solar eclipse. It's not going to be wall to wall sunshine for many of us, but it should be possible to be seen. Now, further north, northeast England, probably seeing some breaks in the cloud, and eastern Scotland as well. There, it should be uh, quite visible for most of the eclipse. But you notice out towards the west of Scotland and parts of north and western Ireland, thicker cloud here. I think you're going to struggle really to see it there. Uh, unfortunately, it looks as if that's probably the place where uh, is the least likely to be able to see at least some portion of that eclipse. Now across Europe, uh, this is how things look across the rest of Europe. You see a fair amount of cloud actually down through parts of Spain and Portugal and in the Mediterranean. Some clearer skies though through central parts of Europe and uh, out in towards parts of Germany, Poland and the western parts of Russia. And along the path of totality between Scotland and Iceland, actually a fair amount of cloud there as well. So, don't forget, do view the eclipse if you can, but do it safely. So the best way to do it actually is using a little self-made pinhole camera. Get yourself a little square of card, cut in it or just poke in it a little pinhole. Uh, a nail is ideal, just pop a hole through it. And then get yourself a cardboard box, put it at about a 45 degree angle and hold the piece of cardboard up to the box and then just come backwards and forwards until you'll see the sun shining through that uh, hole projected onto the uh, onto the paper attached to the cardboard box and you'll see there an image of the sun. Whatever happens don't look through the little hole at the sun, don't look directly at the sun. You need really some special solar eclipse viewing glasses for that which have a mylar filter on them. But if you've not got that the best way really is to project that image onto the cardboard box. Don't look at the sun, trust me. I know it's, you know, you hear these warnings all the time, people saying don't do this and don't do that, but really this is one to take notice of. Don't be tempted to take a direct look at the sun, either through um, the a pinhole camera or using your phone or using a normal camera or a telescope, even if that telescope says it's got a filter on it. Unless you've paid a lot of money for a Mylar filter, don't get looking directly at the sun, but do make yourself a little pinhole camera and project the image onto a piece of paper attached to the cardboard box. That's the best way to do it. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now. Uh, enjoy it uh, as much as you can if you do get the view of the solar eclipse and we'll try and update this forecast for you early on Friday morning as well so you've got the very latest information. But I'll leave you with that for now. Uh, you can get a forecast for the next few days watching our fast forecast or if you want a little bit more technical detail going ahead for the next few weeks then check out our look ahead video. Whatever you do, have a great day. Thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.